besties welcome back to another video today i'm starting off a week in my life it is actually monday and it is 1 10 p.m so good afternoon i hope you guys have had a great monday so far even though y'all won't be watching this on monday but still i hope you guys have been doing so good since the last time that we talked i took a little break and i didn't post on sunday of this month which was the third i just wanted to step back and take a little break just to make sure that i have time to film and really get on schedule because this month we're posting two times a week every single week i literally have all of my videos planned out besides two which is the last two uploads of march and it's still february so yeah i'm super excited about that don't worry because i will not be taking another break probably until the beginning of april because i like to give myself at least one break a month i really feel like as long as i'm staying on top of this schedule i can really make posting two times a week nothing so yeah it is monday like i told y'all i'm actually in my car because i'm about to go pick up my cousin from her house so i can drop her off to work not layla but layla's sister she also wants to stop at chipotle i would get chipotle but i don't think i have a taste for it i just had chipotle two days ago when i was down in virginia with mac and it just kind of threw me off i don't think i really want no chipotle but i might get cubbies the only problem is that i need to go get cash out and that just that's just too much so i don't really know what i'm going to eat today i haven't ate anything but i have been drinking my water i've been taking this thing everywhere with me and i love it so bad what else this week i really don't have that much to do which is why i wanted to take y'all along with me for a realistic week in my life i like doing these on the weeks where i'm not super busy have this this and this going on because i want y'all to see me when i'm super busy and super productive but also see me when i'm just not doing shit and i'm in my bed rotting eating goldfish i do need to run to target or walmart because i want to get i think it's called the cetaphil like daily scrub which is an exfoliator i seen Aaliyah simone talk about it on her night routine last night and when I was at Max house, I just noticed my skin was so fucking dry. And my skin does this thing like once a year where I'll get so much texture in my T-zone area and like on my forehead and that is coming back. This whole winter until now, I have not had this problem. My skin just has little texture bumps on it which now it feels fine because i just washed my face and moisturized it so right now i can't really tell but when i was at max house it was like kind of like i was breaking out but my breakouts aren't really like pimples it's just like a lot of texture and it's very dry my skin really feels like it needs to be exfoliated i'll incorporate that into my night routine tonight if i can find it i feel like i'll have better luck at target but i'm also going to go to walmart if i can't find some of the products that i'm looking for yeah that's just my little tea i'm about to go pick up my cousin i'm not going to vlog that because it's literally nothing to vlog i'm just gonna pick her up take her to chipotle and then drop her off at work and i'll see y'all when i get to tarjay so we can hygiene shop not really hygiene shop but skincare shop pick up some new pickups and really see what's going on your items qualify for a target gift card grab one of these and scan it and then you will have a head start for next time you go in Alright you guys, so I literally just got out of Target. I'm going to show y'all what I got because before I go home, I want to go get some cubbies. I need to find somewhere that does cash back though because I need like a $20 bill. Also, I got a $5 Target gift card because I guess they were having some type of sale or something like that, girl. So first thing that I got are these exfoliating cotton rounds. It says softly textured surface for a deep yet gentle clean. I've never seen exfoliating cotton rounds, but I told y'all that I was watching Aaliyah Simone last night and she also had these so when i seen them by the skincare aisle i just went ahead and picked them up because like i said i feel like my skin probably really does need daily exfoliation if not at least every other day because i feel like it's just so dry i need to scrape off the dryness so i got these and then i also have like regular cotton rounds at the house so i'll just alternate between exfoliating and the regular ones for when i use my toner and stuff the next thing that i got was the cetaphil extra gentle daily scrub for combination to oily skin it says this gently cleans and exfoliates with microfound particles to reveal radiant looking skin i also was looking for the set of feel like daily facial lotion or whatever but i didn't see one in there so i just opted for another brand i just went with the pons dry skin cream and i've heard really good things about this especially on tiktok you'll see like older ladies with perfect skin and they'll say the key is pons and this smells like baby lotion and it's also in like a deep container so this will last me for so long this was the only cream they have just a dry skin cream i don't know if they have like a regular skin cream or whatever but i just got this one because my skin is very dry especially on my face but on other parts of my body as well and i feel like i use dry skin promoted 
products for everything else except my face so hopefully these will work and get your girl situated let me see if i can actually show y'all it's like not picking up on camera well it kind of is but do y'all just see the texture like it's just texture i don't know and i don't want it there i'm about to go ahead and make my way to cubby so i can get a cheeseburger and some what's it called hush puppies i was trying to see if the target little checkout station was going to ask if i wanted cash back because i know walmart does that but i guess they don't so i couldn't get cash back so yeah i'm hungry like so hungry let's go eat i got my cubbies i waited until i got home to eat um i just got like i told y'all a cheeseburger and some hush puppies and then they also give you this honey butter to dip the hush puppies in and it's so good so i'm about to sit here and eat my lunch slash breakfast and then i'm also watching alicia marie catching up on her vlogs that's all I'm just about to eat lunch i don't know what he's in here for because he's not gonna he's gonna get out actually because he's not gonna be begging for my food while i'm trying to eat so yeah she brought like a carnival hi you guys it is 10 p.m since you have last seen me i have i did my makeup i just took it off and i finally took off them fucking lash clusters y'all look at my lashes Sorry, that was like a jump scare. Eyelashes are getting so long and so dark. I literally love it here. But I'm about to do my skincare. I just went ahead and saved y'all the whole removing the makeup and the lash clusters process. We're here for this. I'm gonna use this before I use my actual like facial cleanser because I don't know if this is gonna strip my skin of like hydration. I probably used way too much. Ooh okay i really want to focus this on my forehead i wore makeup so i feel like on days like this this will be very helpful for like really really getting everything off and it's low-key burning my face which i don't know if that's a good thing this is not something that i would do every day but i just feel like it's ripping off that layer of skin which is what i need i use this green rag in like almost all of my videos when i'm washing my face but i promise it's not the same one i just like to use the soft rags for my face and we have a whole pack i promise i have not been using the same rag okay period she's smooth she feels like she's the texture that i was feeling on my forehead is removed that is crazy i literally do not feel the texture anymore that's exactly what i needed was an exfoliator to just get all the dead dry skin off wow i think i'm gonna go ahead and do toner now with the exfoliating rounds this might actually burn because i feel like my pores are wide open right now and i'm pouring toner on it my skin definitely needed to be exfoliated i don't know why i think to exfoliate my body but like when it comes to my face i don't know why i've never thought that it just needs to be exfoliated like when i shower although it's probably not good for you nine times out of ten if i'm in the shower i'm exfoliating because it just feels right period I'll never go back. She feels good. She feels smooth. The fluffs coming off is crazy. And now my last step is to moisturize. That was probably a lot, but I feel like I need it. Do y'all see the glow? She's moisturized. I know a lot of people really don't like greasy moisturizers, which this is kind of greasy, but personally I like it because I have dry skin and I prefer to look like a grease ball over like a dried up cheese puff. I'm actually about to take a shower and then get in bed for the night because I have nothing else to do. It's 10 p.m. Time for me to go to bed. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning, bestie queens. Look at the skin. She's flawless. I just woke up it is 8 26 i actually woke up at 8 01 on the dot and i told myself that i was gonna wake up at 8 so i woke up at 8 01 with no alarm which was crazy to me and i actually told my mom to come in here and wake me up at eight o'clock but when i woke up she wasn't even in here what else was i about to say i felt like i slept like shit last night i feel like i say i slept like shit when i wake up multiple times but i kept waking up to pee that just really pisses me off when i have to keep waking up waking up waking up after i showered last night i imported my clips into my macbook so i could start editing i made like the first little intro part but i didn't put music on it or anything so yeah i really do not feel like editing and i don't know what it is if i just need to take a little break or what but i do not feel like editing that video but i'm going to do it and it has to go up on thursday and it's tuesday so tomorrow i'm probably gonna just sit and edit the whole entire day um and then i probably might work on it tonight today i actually got a new bed frame so we got some new room decor i'm gonna be putting that together today which is why i'm up so early well i'm not putting shit together i might help uh uh it's just not for me so i'm gonna get somebody else to do it that person is only available in the morning so that's really the only reason why i'm up this early is so that i can match their schedule so that i can get 
some help because me personally i live in a house with my mom my little sister and then my two younger brothers everybody is younger than me obviously besides my mom but my little brothers i just feel like they i'd rather do that shit myself before i ask them this bed frame that i have right now me and niaja actually put that together and it took us like five hours because we're just girls this is so realistic but i have to do a sponsorship so i don't know if it's supposed to be at the beginning of the video if y'all already seen it or i don't know really what's going on i need to look at my email i feel like i need to go get a coffee because last time i woke up this early around one o'clock i crashed trying to decide if i want seven brew or duncan but yeah it's 8 30 coda is whining y'all coda i never take him out of his cage this early because i don't be up this early i'll take him out around like 10 but because he heard me talking me and my mom and her talking this morning he is just crying like he just he's so desperate to get out of his cage well it's not even the fact he's desperate to get out of his cage i think he has to use the bathroom this morning he has to use the bathroom really bad and he wants to go outside really bad according to him because he's crying and that's the only reason why he really cries while he's in his cage because he wants to go outside i'm about to go take him to use the bathroom and i'll be back to y'all probably a little bit later okay y'all so it is now 9 30 and i'm on my way to duncan i was going to go to seven brew but mm, i think i'm gonna just do duncan today because i have to be somewhere at 10 so i only have 30 minutes so i'm gonna just go to duncan Plus, going to Duncan, I can also get food instead of just a drink. So, I feel like that'll make the most sense because sometimes I just be wanting a drink, but then I be hungry as fuck. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and get myself some type of food to snack on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got stuck at the light. I'm the pussy. Everybody else took the light but me. Y'all, I promise I'm not a puss on a regular day. I just didn't want to run the light. Hi, can I have a medium iced coffee with cream and sugar? three pumps caramel and three pumps toasted white chocolate and then can i also have the everything bagel minis can I love you? yes that's all 647. thank you oh did i just hit that curve yeah, money, money. okay so i ordered my drink a little bit differently i got cream and sugar i normally never get sugar but the last few times i've had this it just tasted so not sweet this is good. And then these are the bagel minis. They're just mini little everything bagels with cream cheese stuffed inside. Mm, so good every single time. Hey besties, I just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Yita Home. They sent me over this beautiful full-size bed frame and right now on the Yita Home website, they're having a St. Patrick's Day sale where you can get up to $400 off of your order. Also, if you use my code MA15 at checkout, you can get 15% off. They have so many unique pieces on their website and I'm sure you'll find something that you absolutely love. Thank you so much Yita Home for sponsoring this video. Good afternoon, you guys. It is currently Wednesday and it is 12 18 p.m. Last thing I showed y'all was me putting together my bed frame. I literally love it. It turned out so cute. And then I actually ended up mounting my TV. If you're just a girl and you don't know how to mount a TV or you don't want to do like the whole stud finder thingy my bob jiggy, because I tried that the whole tv and the mount slid out the wall i suggest going to walmart and just finding a no stud tv mount and i got mine for like 20 bucks and my tv's on the wall it was super easy this morning i woke up around nine i took coda out fed him and everything and then from 10 to 12 i was editing and then me and coda just came back from his second potty break so i finished off my whole video that is supposed to go up tomorrow i might push it to friday because it's sponsored and the company has to approve of it before i can post it and like send me my money on so later on today i'm actually going to film the sponsorship because i still haven't done it the video is all edited but i just have to add in the sponsorship when i actually get up for the day because i don't feel like getting up right at this moment and getting ready for one because i have nothing to do right now i don't have anything to do later either but i don't it's 12 like last night i actually slept so well it wasn't hard for me to go to sleep because i was so exhausted from yesterday waking up at 8 a.m and building the bed frame mounting the tv cleaning my room i don't really so much like the layout of my room but it's acceptable it's going to stay this way it has to stay this way the tv is mounted to the wall now so there's not really much moving that i can really do i actually have a mattress coming in the mail today for another sponsorship so y'all i done got a bed frame and a mattress i'm gonna unbox it and everything today but y'all won't see 
see like the real details about it until my next video and i'm super excited for that because it's supposed to be a very comfortable mattress and the mattress that i have now i literally got off amazon like two three years ago and my bed is really comfortable do not sleep on amazon for your mattresses and hopefully the bed that's coming in the mail is just as comfortable or even more comfortable because i'm gonna be mad if the shit is hard as a rock and i you know my old bread frame i actually gave to my mom and this mattress is going to go to somebody else if not it's just gonna go in the trash um i really don't care i pay for it with my own money but i'm actually gonna watch tv because last night to fall asleep instead of watching tiktok or like youtube i watched tv and i feel like because it's not so in my face and i'm not actively like scrolling and i don't have to really use my brain that much i'm just watching it i feel like it made me go to sleep faster because when i'm on tiktok i'm up there laughing i'm up there scrolling liking looking at comments and i feel like that's just too much for my brain like it's hard for my brain to fall asleep if i'm actively doing stuff i don't really ever use my tv unless i'm playing music or like maybe watching a movie but i don't use my tv unless i have company but since it's been on the wall i've been more interested in watching my tv yeah that's my little update i'll probably see y'all later on when i'm starting to get ready or i'm already ready for the day i really don't know like i said this week is very realistic and i don't really have much going on it's just like my daily daily life oh my god february ends tomorrow so we're monthly resetting tomorrow and i'm super excited because i need to wash my car i'm happy to go to the car wash because i haven't been in a while and i need to get my money's worth if i'm paying for a subscription hey y'all don't mind me i look busted and my lips are chapped i just opened up my new mattress and y'all this bad boy is so comfortable. I can already tell it's so comfortable. But y'all know I got to give it a little bit before I actually review the bed. So I'm going to sleep on it for the next few nights. And if it's good, we'll be having a sponsorship in the next video. So yeah, it's really comfortable. And it's so thick. Like, oh my gosh. I got the 14 inch version. But that shit took every ounce of breath out of my body. Like, the mattress is 93 pounds, y'all. She's thick. As you can see, it's just so squishy. I love this. Now I'm about to put all of my bedding back on my bed. After I finish putting all of my bedding back on, I'm going to straighten my hair and do my lashes. That way I can go ahead and do my sponsorship. I actually have a headache and I think it's because I have not ate all day. I mean, I was snacking on goldfish and like drinking water. And I was watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm about to pop a painkiller. Hopefully that can like calm it down while I'm filming. And then after that, I'm going to go out and get some food from I don't know where. Maybe Cubbies. I only have like 90 miles in my car. Like 90 miles of gas. So I'm really trying to save my little bit of gas that I do have. And Cubbies is farther away. But I really don't care like i'm gonna have to get gas at some point anyways i need to catch my breath like seriously so i'll be back to y'all a little bit later hey you guys good afternoon it is actually 12 52. it is friday march 1st wake up hey it's the first of the month and y'all already know what goes down on the first today is monthly reset day i'm up so late because i did not go to sleep until three o'clock in the morning because i had a headache for over like 10 hours i really need to start eating better because i just i start getting this headache when i'm hungry and i haven't ate like i'll snack on goldfish and like water throughout the day but i don't so much like have an appetite and last night i didn't eat and i didn't go eat until like 7 p.m and yesterday i literally just sat in my bed watched like 10 episodes of Grey's anatomy because that's the show i'm back watching now and it's so good i love it i just was really unproductive i was just chilling all day literally i didn't do anything and i didn't feel like doing anything and that's what i wanted to do so that's what i did like the headache just wouldn't go away and normally i'm not the type to take medicine until it's to a point where like i cannot fathom the pain i'd be trying to see how long i can go without taking medicine not see how long i can go but i'm i try to see if it could go away on its own before i take medicine and i was thinking that i'm just gonna sleep it off but the headache was so bad that I could not fall asleep. So around three, I'm like, yeah, this is horrible. Like I, I literally cannot fall asleep because my head is pounding. Like right after it kicked in, right after I noticed that I didn't have a headache anymore, I fell asleep. I did wake up around eight, but I just couldn't get myself to get up. So I turned over and went back to sleep, woke up at 10. I'm like, I'm still so tired. So I went back to sleep and I just woke up at like 
12 20 something i've just been sitting here catching up with all the stuff that i missed today is monthly reset day you already know how my monthly reset goes i'm just gonna put it all into this video because it's what i'm doing today my room is pretty much clean not even pretty much my room is clean besides i have to make my bed i have to do laundry today i have to switch my calendar i already have all of my march content planned i also have to go wash my car because oh my gosh my car is so fucking dirty inside and out like there's rain stains all over it i need to clean my bathroom and then i also need to run into walmart that way i can get some new like air freshener plugs because they ran out ever since i got the little febreze plugs that you put in your room and bathroom i just feel like i need to have one in my room at all times and matt put me onto that and they ran out they're blinking blues i feel like this video has been kind of choppy i don't even remember what i was doing at the beginning of this video but today's monthly reset day i was just gonna sit down and do absolutely nothing like yesterday i didn't even open my blinds i didn't even open my curtains and let any sunshine in i was just in chill mode not today i'm gonna get up brush my teeth wash my face do all that and then head out i really need to eat something because i woke up with a stomach ache y'all i don't know what the fuck is wrong with me i feel like i need to get out the house and really get some fresh air go do some things that make me feel good go be productive i think it's because my bed is so comfortable that i've just been glued to it because now i see why people are like i just can't get out the bed like my bed is so comfortable this mattress is so comfortable i've been sleeping so good since i switched my room around i've also been sleeping so good i don't know if y'all believe in feng shui Way. I don't know if I believe in it or if I don't believe in it. And one thing I can say is like when my bed is in different areas, I sleep differently like when my bed is in front of the window i literally sleep like shit i cannot fall asleep and now that i've moved my bed in a different direction like that sounds so stupid but it might be true you never know i don't ever say like anything is not true or that i don't believe in anything because they could very real be right and it could very real be true like at this point in this economy in this world you really don't know what's true and what's not hey don't lick the outlets that's dangerous coda is in here say hi you guys my name is coda and i like to eat my mommy socks y'all this is my boy i love him oh and i also have to go down to layla's house because i have a package over there i don't know what order i'm gonna do all this in it'll probably make sense for me to just leave out the house now go get my car washed go to walmart and then just finish everything that i need to finish here when i'm back in the house for the day that way i don't have to keep running back and forth everywhere which is what i'll probably do but i don't know y'all i don't know hey guys the lighting is kind of bad it's literally 1 45 how did it take me a whole hour to get out of the house i am on my way to get my car washed and then i'm gonna run into walmart right quick i'm just gonna do a quick little clean i might just run through today and then go back tomorrow to just clean the inside because i feel like i'm in such a rush and i feel like everybody is waiting on me oh my god this is driving so slow i hate people who don't know how to drive like that shit is aggravating so i just pulled up to the car wash and i guess they closed or something they got two cones in the middle of the fucking way so i guess i can't even go through which just pissed me off but i'm just gonna run into walmart right here then since i can't get in like i can't even go wash my car if i wanted to whatever i'll just do it tomorrow <laughs> besties so it is a little while later actually it is a lot later it is 404 right now i'm sitting outside of layla's house because i came here to help her like mount her tv fix her room but i'm about to leave because i'm hungry so i'm about to go get some lunch and i haven't ate shit all day i think i'm gonna go to bojangles and then i have to take my sister to five below or the dollar store so she can pick up her friend a gift and i forgot that i even had to do that today so while I'm on that side I'll probably do that as well and then I might come back to Layla's house if she still needs my help or anything like that but I really don't know and I thought I had a package coming here but it's not here so I don't know what that's about but yeah I checked the mailbox and in the house and everything I haven't seen it so I'm gonna text the girl and tell her that I didn't get it and that was like a brand ambassador type thing that's pretty much my update I feel like I'm about to pass out I'm so hungry and I haven't ate shit
all day hey you guys i look so busty let me put my hair up um it is 5 35 i just like just walked back in the house i got bojangles for lunch then i went to dollar general to get myself some goldfish to snack on what else as y'all seen earlier i also got two of the febreze plugs this is in the scent whipped warm sugar shea butter and it smells so good so i'm about to go ahead and put these inside of my plugins that way my room can go ahead and start smelling good i feel like they last maybe like a month because i keep mine on like the max so a lot of scent comes out at a time this is what it looks like you just pull this one out screw off these tops and push it in just like that it's 5 40 now i decided that i'm just going to do my whole monthly reset thing tomorrow because i feel like because the car wash was closed or whatever it had going on it just threw off like the whole monthly reset like i didn't even reset so i might as well just do all of it tomorrow and not gonna lie i'm probably just gonna lay in bed and watch Grey's anatomy for the rest of the night i might come back to y'all later on but i don't really know because i'm really not gonna be doing much if i don't see y'all again tonight good night and i love you and i'll see you in the morning but if i do then i just do good morning it is what day is it it is saturday march 2nd and it is 10 19 a.m i woke up around like nine i decided to just get up and not rot in bed because that's literally what i've been doing i've been feeling so unproductive and just not in the mood to do anything and i have no idea why today i just feel like i need to get up and actually do what i told myself that I was going to do. I know that I wanted to wash my car, but guess what? It's raining today, so there's no point of doing that. Late last year, I came up with the idea to start budgeting, but I haven't stuck to the budget. January, I failed. February, I failed. In March, I'm not. I'm gonna make a budget and actually stick to it this month. I have all of my March content planned out besides two videos, so only thing I need to do is just switch all that to my calendar. I'm actually gonna go out and grab a coffee, do my laundry, clean my bath, Room and I want to get it all done earlier in the day that way if I do want to relax today which I know I will I can do that as well I'm trying to think if I need to go to the store for anything which I did at first I wanted to go to Walmart or something to get Coda some new shampoo because I plan to take him to get a bath today but I don't know if I want to do it today because it's raining and then the place where he go gets his baths is already like farther away. I don't know if I wanna wait until tomorrow because it's not supposed to rain, but that's just pushing back the process of me cleaning my car. Because if I'm gonna have Coda in my car, I might as well do it while it's dirty because after he gets out of the car, I have to clean my car. There will be dog hair flying everywhere. I could just book him like a grooming appointment, but I feel like Coda just wouldn't love that idea so much. And I don't wanna put any extra stress on him. Like if I can do it, I'll just do it. But he re is really good with people and stuff like that, but I just don't know how he'll react. I don't want him to be, you know, being bad, but I know people who groom dogs are, are obviously trained to, you know, help dogs in that situation. The ones who aren't really okay with being groomed. I might look into just doing that today and just paying that. That way I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do any hard labor. I know when I clean him, I probably don't do it, do like a great job. I'm probably gonna call around after I finish with my skincare. That's my little bit of tea. I'm about to go ahead and do my hair. And when I say do my hair, I don't know what I really mean by that. I'm probably just gonna keep it in a ponytail, but I'm gonna fix my edges. And then I'm just gonna put on a quick little outfit for right now, just to go ahead and leave out the house. Green Bear runs on deck, how may I help you? Can I also do everything bagel minis? And that's all. It feels so good outside, but of course when it feels good outside, it's, ooh, I almost hit them. It's raining, but it feels really good. It's 64 degrees. Well, that's what it says in my car. I decided to come to Dunkin' because I wanna run in Target, and then I think I might run in Petco and just go ahead and buy Coda a new bag of food. While I'm on this 
this side of town because it'll just make the most sense. I'm really going to Target for absolutely nothing. I just need to feel something. So I'm going to go in there and see if there's anything I can buy. If I do get something, I know I need to get Coda bigger food bowls because he's getting too big. Maybe him some treats or a toy or something. Oh my God, like I don't feel like talking. Can you please stop calling me, please? I don't know. I just get in my moods where I just really do not be feeling like being bothered by people and that is how I'm feeling today. I've been feeling that way for the past couple days. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just not in the mood. Like, just don't even talk to me. Don't even look at me. And you did a good job at really fucking up my day. And then you said you made steak. I'm feeling like this is for Rachel. You big, fat, white, nasty, smelling fat. And it's not even like anybody did anything to me. I'm just not in the fucking mood. Like, I wish people would just understand that. Thank you. That's not... This is, you know what? I'm, I'm over here smelling bacon. Whose fucking food is that? Cause it's not mine. This shit is nasty. My drink is disgusting. He let me keep the bacon egg and whatever he gave me. And I don't even want it. Like at this point, just don't, just, just stop. So I made it to Target. That's the only thing that's gonna make me feel better is if I go buy something. Which is a bad habit that I need to break. But you know what? It's, it, I have to. I have to, so that's what I'm gonna go do. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all everything that I got from Tarjay. First things first, I got Coda two new bowls, so I got him a water bowl that's really big. You like your new bowl? I also got him a new food tray. I always get him ones with like, these in the inside it's called a slow feeder um because Coda will scarf down his food and then start choking it up because he's eating so fast and i really need to get him a placemat because he has oh bless you whenever he drinks his water he gets it everywhere for some reason okay then another thing i got for him are these kindful jerk chicken recipe treats y'all he heard treat and just oh you're sitting y'all look he heard treat and he's sitting like a good boy because he wants a treat we're gonna get you to do a trick for a treat if you want a treat you gotta do the trick coda doesn't really like hard treats so I always try to make sure I can find him softer treats. Now, when he eats these, he'll most likely spit it the fuck out, but we'll see. Do you want to treat that, Coda? Oh, you're being so polite. Give me half up. Oh, thank you. Here's your treat. He's like, girl, what the fuck is this? Y'all, he's so picky. He literally left the treat on the ground. He doesn't like it, so that was a waste of my money. I always buy him treats, but he doesn't like them. Except this one specific brand that I get at Petco. Damn, I forgot to go to Petco. Him do not like it. On to the rest of the stuff that I got because Coda was a disappointment. I knew he wasn't gonna like it, but I still wanted to get it for him to see if he would try it. Last two things that I got, I just got a beauty blender because I haven't had one for a while. Like I threw my other one away and just never got another one. So I just got this purple beauty bin. And then I also just got some makeup removing wipes. That was all that I got from Tarjay. I only spent $33. Them bowls were really cheap. Like $5 and one was $8. And if y'all remember at the beginning of the video, I got a $5 Target gift card, but for some reason it's not letting me activate the Target gift card. So I probably have to do it through my Target app and just add it to my wallet and then use it that way. But it wasn't working when I was scanning it. It said it was invalid or something. I fed Coda before I left the house and I come back home and there's still food in his bowl, which means he's not eating his food, which means something is not right. Now him not eating the tree is very normal. But the fact that he did not finish his food is not right. And I think it's because in the food that he eats, there's like chunks of meat. Because it's to the end of the bag, there wasn't a lot of chunks of meat. So he ate all the chunks of meat, but he left the kibble. Yeah, y'all, that's my son for you. So I really do need to go get him new food, but I totally forgot. And I don't know if I'm going back on that side of town today because I just came from there. But good thing when I put up back home, the sun was coming out. The sun is out now, so it feels really good outside. And I could go wash my car, but I think it's going to be raining tomorrow too or the next day. So it's like, bro, what's the point of me washing my car if it's just going to rain? I don't know. Like, I just really need to go do it. I, I'll do it sometime between today or tomorrow. I'm going to put all this stuff away, put Coda's food in this bowl, see if he'll eat it maybe i know he won't but it's whatever put some water in his new bowl i'm gonna wash him and everything first after i do that i'm gonna come back to y'all because i have laundry to do and then we're gonna start our little monthly reset today because we didn't do our monthly reset yesterday so let's do this laundry girl like out of breath. 
breath because me and Coda just went on a walk and I'm looking for my water bottle. And it's 70 degrees outside, sun is still shining. So I think I'm gonna go and go ahead and wash my car because you know what? At this point, I'm gonna just do it. I did my laundry and I picked up my room. So now my room is all clean, no more laundry. I'm gonna do my calendar now and change it to March. So yeah, let's do that right quick. Oh! What is this angle? You know what, it's not gonna get no better than that. My calendar is all filled out. As y'all can see, we got a lot going on. A lot of videos going live. Ew, why did I say it like that? March is gonna be a good one. March is gonna be so good and I literally cannot wait for y'all to see. I think I'm about to go ahead and leave out the house. For one, I'm hungry. So should I eat first or should I go clean my car first? I don't know what I'm actually hungry for. I also have to run to the beauty supply store for my mom because by the time she gets off work, they'll be closed. So we got a little beauty supply store run. I feel like I should just go get some food first because that'll be on the opposite side of town so yeah i'm trying to like stay in my area and then i think tomorrow i'm just gonna go ahead and go to petco for coda because i don't feel like going that far either that's pretty much my tea let's go ahead and leave this house it feels so good outside but i need to think about what i want to eat so while my car is warming up that's what we'll do and my camera battery is about to die okay summer is that you because i'm riding with my ac on and i haven't done like i haven't rode with my actual ac on what well, i have but like it's actually hot outside it's 74 degrees y'all what that groundhog must not was lying he must have been telling the truth i decided that i'm gonna go eat chipotle because i haven't had it since i was with mac hopefully it leaves a better taste in my mouth than it did last time but i have just came to the conclusion that i it's just like i don't even like food no more i'm just eating so i don't die like i have to eat but i have a taste for nothing like nothing at all i'm craving or even sounds remotely good it's just like i'm trying to find something to eat just because i know i need to eat not even the fact that like i'm not even eating for the taste anymore i might as well eat dirt what is going on i need to try something new like bring out the dinosaurs dinosaur meat turtle meat whatever it is something because this chicken it's just not doing it all right y'all so i got my chipotle i was gonna do like a cool little transition but my camera overheated while i was in there i just got three soft tacos and my order was only $8.99. It was only $8.99 and I got a side of queso. I got my vinaigrette. My camera is actually about to run out of storage on my SD card. It says I only have three minutes left. So I'm just going to eat my food. Damn. I'm going to probably have to just record off of my phone until I get back home because I can't clear off my SD card. So yeah, now I only have two minutes. So you know what? I'm just going to sit here and eat. I was going to do like a whole Chipotle mukbang, but I don't have no storage on my camera. So yeah, after this, I'm going to run to the car wash. And those are clips that I film on my phone regularly anyways. But if I do have something to say, I'll just record it on my phone. <laughs> He gave me an air freshener, but I lost it. Oh, damn, y'all can't even see me, the phone falling. But they give you complimentary air fresheners. Out with the old and in with the new. This is the old one. I'm about to throw this in the trash right quick. Y'all stay here, I'll be right back. Ugh. Now, before I go home, I'm going to stop at the beauty supply store for my mom. The guy here who was like, was the one who was telling me like, come on, come on, come on, like through the little thing. Y'all, he was, like, so cute. Like, he was cute, but, like, when I say cute, it just means, like, oh, you're cute, you know? Like, he was cute, and he was just so sweet and so nice. And, of course, I think everybody's in love with me. Like, one friendly interaction, I'm thinking somebody's trying to hit on me. Like, that's just how I am. That's just what it is with me. I think everybody is in love with me, because if you're not, why aren't you, you know? So, when I was pulling through, he was like, okay, come on, come on, whatever. Put your car in neutral. Then he was like, oh, here's your air freshener. I was like, thank you. He was like, have a good one. 
and he's coming outside and i'm just like oh how sweet are you and he's literally staring at me right now but then when i was washing my car he was like oh do you need help with anything like i can vacuum your car out for you like are you sure you don't need no help i'm just like yeah i'm fine and he's like staring so like let me move my phone but yeah it was super cute and super nice i could tell like how many times he asked me he wanted me to say yes and like that's just so awkward i feel like he's about to come over here please don't <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and pull off before he comes up here. Oh my God, he's coming. No, no, no. Let's go to the beauty supply store because I'm so tired, y'all. Oh my God, it's so hot outside. And when I pulled up, everybody was washing their car. Like I had to park all the way on the end. I don't know why my exposure up here is so bad. Like, why does it look so dark? I don't know what's up with my camera. Like, girl, we're not going to start acting crazy we're not gonna start acting crazy it's 5 2 p.m when i went to the beauty supply store i went ahead and got another edge brush because if y'all remember in my last video coda chewed up the one that i had just brought so i got another one and i'm not gonna let him get to that one and then i just got another little lip gloss because whenever i go to the dollar store i just can't pass one up and then i also got the product that my mom needed for me to grab i'm about to try this one right quick this is the mint oil i don't think i've ever tried the mint one i normally go for the shea butter one of these but when i was using mint lip gloss i was using the lip oil if y'all know what i'm talking about like the little mint lip oil that's at the beauty supply store i just love these lip glosses like you can never go wrong with them and they're only like a dollar 99 cents so run to your beauty supply store and get you get you one of these they have mint a honey flavor shea butter rosemary they got a lot of different little flavors as soon as i got back home i cleared off my sd card because like i told y'all i didn't have no more space i'm starting to get like a little headache i've been having an ongoing headache for the past couple days now and i don't know what it is but i went ahead and imported all of the footage that i have for this video this video doesn't go up for like another week or something like that but I'm in the mood to edit, so I think I'm going to work on it just for a little bit until I get tired of it. I'll probably edit at least the first day, get that all edited, and then just take a break from it. Because one thing about me, if I force myself to edit, the video is going to come out shit. Like, my last video, my weekend in my life, y'all probably can tell, but I put zero effort into that video. I was just trying to rush it to come out because I hadn't posted, and then I ended up not even posting it on the 29th when I was supposed to post it, and I posted it on the 1st. That's my update. I'm just going to edit for a little while, get some work done, and then I'm probably going to be watching Grey's Anatomy. I was supposed to clean my bathroom, but I just don't feel like it right now. So I don't know if we'll get to that today or if we'll do it tomorrow, but it has to be done one of these days. Yeah, I'm keeping my jeans on so I don't get under these covers. I'm just going to sit on top of the blanket because don't let me get too comfortable I turn on the TV and start watching Grey's Anatomy, y'all. Grey's Anatomy is so good. Grey's Anatomy is so good. And I was a Grey's Anatomy hater. Like, oh my God, I'm not watching that show. It's like 19 seasons long. But I'm telling you, once you start, once you start, it's so good. If you have not started watching Grey's Anatomy, start watching it. So yeah, that's my tea. I'll talk to y'all in a few. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It is actually 10.47 a.m. Don't mind my hair. I literally had to sleep with just the scarf on because last night after I took a shower, my bonnet was soaking wet because my shower head is like spraying water literally everywhere. I don't know why, but... Yeah, I don't know if it needs to be tightened or what, but my bonnet was wet and it was giving me the ick laying on a wet bonnet. So I just wore my scarf. I woke up around like 10 15 today and I went to sleep pretty early. I just got up and brushed my teeth and washed my face and my face is feeling so good. It's getting really pretty much back to normal. Like the texture is pretty much gone. I was still having it on my eyelids, but it's like barely there. I exfoliated last night before I got in the shower and everything. And today it's feeling so good. Yeah, I really don't know what I have planned for today. Just like any other day. My room is clean, so I don't have to worry about that. I want to go to Seven Brew today. Probably grab a little coffee because I feel like I'm so over Dunkin' Donuts. Like, I just don't want it. I really don't. Yesterday, I wasted my money. And when I got home, I gave my little brother the bagel minis and the wake-up wrap that he gave me. I was thinking about going to Walmart because there was something that I needed. I know, like, I'll just think about stuff that I need to get and then I won't write it down or nothing and then I'll forget. I can't remember why I was thinking that I need to go to Walmart. I'm looking around trying to, like, make myself remember what I needed. I think... I think it was just a new 
body like body rag exfoliator because you're supposed to switch them out after 30 days and i know i've had mine for over 30 days i really don't have much to talk about this morning i look a mess hold on i don't have much to talk about this morning nothing is really going on i put my hair in a braid because i wanted to see if it was gonna like curl up or like crimp up i might do my makeup today just for the fun of it because i haven't done it in a while and that's just like a therapy for me like i just love doing my makeup for no reason i'm trying to think what it was that I needed from the store. I, I don't know, but it'll probably come to me later. Um, I'm about to just go ahead and get up and head to Seven Brew because why not? I feel like I'm rambling and saying the same things over and over again. My family's in the living room and they're being loud as well. So I'm gonna get ready to leave the house. I'll probably keep this braid in my hair. I'll see y'all later. All right, you guys. So it is 11.34 now and I'm outside of Seven Brew. Uh, I don't know what's going on today but the line is so fucking long 14 cars ahead of me i'm literally waiting to go in from the side of the street so yeah everybody is just waiting i don't know what they like do they have something going on today i don't really know or maybe everybody just caught on the seven brew is good as hell but the only time the line was this long was when they were giving out free shirts if you got a large drink but i think i'm gonna just do a small today or i might do a medium I don't know because the last time I had it, I didn't even drink it all because it made my stomach hurt. So I probably am going to get a small. But I have a menu in my car because my back is big. Um, I got a whole menu. So I'm about to look at what I actually want. I normally go for the cinnamon roll. But I might do the sweet and salty, which is salted caramel and white chocolate brevet. I think I'm going to do that because that one is really good. I like the sweet and salty vibe. Yeah, I think I'm going to get it with cold foam and caramel drizzle. Hi, guys. Okay. Let me move this. I got my drink. It looks so good. Like, Seven Brew, they never disappoint ever. Like, look at the amount of caramel. And she even drew a little cat. It's upside down for y'all, but it's a cat. And the girl in the drive thru that was taking my order was so sweet. She was like, oh my God, I love your rings. So good. The thing I love about Seven Brew the most is that you can customize your drink however you want it, and then the price will literally still be the same. I got cold foam, caramel drizzle. The drink is still the same price if I just got like the sweet and salty drink by itself. And whenever I come to Seven Brew, the people there are always so sweet. Like they're always so nice and upbeat, and they know how to have a conversation. Like they really do. I'd be feeling kind of awkward because I got like social anxiety. Like when she was telling me, "Oh, I like your rings. Like my boyfriend got me one." but i lost it i'm like oh my god like i don't i don't be knowing how to act in those situations because i'm like damn you aren't shy at all which i know is probably part of their job and they hire people who have that type of energy but for me i'm just like oh my gosh i wouldn't know what to do if i worked here because i don't know how to have a conversation at all <laughs> it hasn't hit me yet so i don't know if it's gonna make my stomach hurt or not but i need to go to petco that's where i needed to go that's what else i needed to do that i couldn't figure out what i need to go do but i need to go to petco and i need to put it in my gps because from this side of town i do not know how to get there i've lived in this city where i live for like six years i've lived here since i was going into seventh grade i live i've lived in north carolina since i was nine no, I lived in North Carolina since I was five, I think. <laughs> I was in a different part of North Carolina, but I've lived in my city right now since I was in seventh grade. And I still don't know how to get around. Like, I still don't know how to get around without a GPS. Well, actually, no, it's only this part of the city that is so confusing to me because I've lived on just about every side of the city, but this side. Well, I have, but when I lived on this side of the city, I was in seventh grade. So I definitely don't know how to get anywhere from this side. And like, I don't know all the shortcuts and stuff. I only know like three shortcuts to get around the city so yeah i really don't know what what leads to what so i'd be having to use my gps i'll end up somewhere i'm not supposed to be at it's like i know my way around the city but i don't know it that much like i'm not like i just need to get to a part where i'm familiar with i don't need the gps to get all the way there but as soon as i get familiar with where i'm at i'm like okay stop the gps i'm trying to see where it wants me to go but i'll see y'all when i get to petco i need to get go to some new food and i'm gonna probably grab him a new bag of treats since he doesn't like the ones i got him yesterday and it's the end of the month which means my subscription renewed because i have a subscription with petco where i get money off and i get like 15 dollars a month in rewards and i love the end of the month because that means his food 
food and his treats or whatever I go in there and buy him is free. So we'll see what, what is given today. And even when I use my $15 of rewards because they only give you $15 a month, you still get 10% off or you still get percentages off of certain like select items in there. Like I know that I get 10% off of every food purchase that I go in there and buy for Coda. And that's like the only thing I buy in there for him is food. And then that's where he goes to the vet at. That reminds me that I also need to go ahead and text the lady back about taking Coda to the groomers, which I think I'm going to do on the 5th. So not tomorrow, but Tuesday. What if he like has to poop and pee? Like what's going to happen with that? What happens with that? Like, should I not feed him before he goes to the groomer? Like, I don't want him to shit in the fucking you know i don't know by the time y'all give me advice in the comments i've already have taken him so i don't know how that's gonna go y'all Alright you guys, so I pulled up to Petco to get Coda's food, went inside, did everything, and I was just thinking Petco has a groomer, like why don't why don't I just get him groomed at Petco? So I looked and I tried to book him an appointment, but Coda does not have his rabies shot, which I didn't know. Well I knew, but I didn't know if it was time for him to get it yet, but now that he's over 16 weeks, that's why he hadn't had his shot, which I didn't know I was supposed to book it on my own, because when he was going, when he was smaller to get his vaccinations, they just like you know kept saying oh Coda has a new appointment this that and the third for his follow-up for his booster I didn't know that I had to go in and book the rabies shot myself I'm thinking they're gonna just say oh Coda has an appointment when it was time for him to get his rabies shot so what I decided to do was book him his rabies shot <laughs> so I have to come back here at 3 15 so he can get his shot so tuesday or wednesday of next week is when he's going to come back and get his bath which just it lines up so perfectly because he has to have his shot for 24 to 48 hours i believe before he can come back and get a bath but he's gonna come back and get something i forget what it's called it's some type of vaccination that he already had but he needs the booster part or something i think she said por porvo porvo i don't know what the fuck and then he's gonna go get his rabies shot so my boy don't get rabies that was so like spur the moment but i want my baby to be good and get all his vaccinations because i don't play that i know dogs get sick really fast i think he already had his like heartworm prevention and all that other stuff he just needs his rabies shot and after his rabies shot i don't know if that means he's fully vaccinated or if he'll have like something else that he needs to get done i'm really not sure how all that shit works i'm just like you know what fuck it let me get my boy his shots because he hasn't been to the vet in like three months and i'm just like la 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 he must not need anything so when i went in there after i grabbed his food and stuff i just asked the um vet assistant if she can look up on my account and see what else he needs and she was just like he only needs two shots so yeah i really don't know how he's gonna do because he had his in oh bitch i'm gonna ask makai to come with me because i can't i already know i'm not gonna be able to tame him by myself because he's just so overly excited and always wants to be up in everybody's grill so i'm just hoping and praying that he'll do good i'm not worried about him like biting anybody but he's just gonna be so overly excited jumping on everybody excited to see everybody and then when he gets his shot i just hope he doesn't cry the only thing that i am worried about is the fact that coda fucking stinks right now like he fucking stinks he needs hit a bath so fucking bad i'm gonna be like oh my god i'm so sorry i know he stinks but i'm trying i'm try i try to book him a bath but he needed his rabies shot so please just don't say nothing i promise i'm not a bad dog mom yeah and then i'm also thinking about like damn i just went to go clean my car yesterday now i'm gonna have dog hair all in it all in it all over again so one of these days i'll have to go back and clean my car but it's not gonna be today i can let y'all know that right now but um i'm gonna go home and feed coda i didn't let him eat this morning i told him not to feed him because the food that i get him i switch between two different flavors right now he has chicken and rice i think and this one is lamb and he likes the lamb one better so i'm just gonna mix the chicken and the lamb that's what i like to do when it gets to the end of the bag to make sure it doesn't hurt his stomach i mix the two um so it isn't so hard on him that's basically what's going on when i get home i'm just gonna feed him and then i'm gonna get myself ready i think i'm gonna just go ahead and do my own makeup right now while i have time because i don't have shit else to do since i already have to leave back out so i'm gonna do my makeup get cute and then around three i'll probably pick the camera back up when it's time to take coda to the vet coda's going to the vet to get his shots get in oh come on get in 
good boy. We got Coda in the whip, y'all. It is. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna roll the windows down for him. It's 2.56 and his appointment is not until 3.15. So we got a little bit of time to get there. And I got to fill out a form when I get there too, which is why I'm leaving a little bit early so I can do that. But I'm riding with the windows down. So y'all not gonna be able to hear me regardless. Coda gonna be out the window. I be scared he gonna try to jump out, but <laughs> yeah. We about to go ahead and get him his shots. Coda, say hey. Say hi. You ready to go to the vet? I got dog hair all in my seat and he's only been in here for like two minutes. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I get there. I'm gonna try to get some clips on my phone, but I'm taking him by myself and Coda is just a handful. We'll see the clips that I can get, but y'all know, I'll let y'all know how he does. Wait. Good boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Wait, be careful. Hey y'all, I'm back in the car and I'm so fucking irritated with Coda. I'm just gonna be so real. It seems like nothing that I ever taught him, he took into his brain he's very friendly yes but he's overly friendly jumping on people and it really showed me that he needs to go somewhere that's actually going to train him somebody other than me because he doesn't give a fuck about what the fuck i say either gives the vibe of when your kid is screaming in target and it's not even like he's a bad dog he's not it's just the fact that he doesn't know how to act he shouldn't be acting the way that he acts i don't want you jumping on people and that's like the biggest thing stop jumping when i say sit sit and it's not like he doesn't know these things he just chooses not to listen i don't even know what to say like at this point i don't know what to do like he whenever he gets in a social setting he loses all control he doesn't even know how to walk on a leash without pulling me pulling to get to other people it's just like koda relax he went in there and showed his fucking ass everybody else's dogs are you know fine like they're not acting so overly hyper so overly excited jumping all over people i don't even know that's that's my vent session that's pretty much all i got to say i don't know when's the next time i'm gonna talk to y'all because i'm just irritated as fuck hey y'all let me turn this down right quick it is 5 38 y'all can't even see that but i'm now back at home i got some bojangles my mom got me bojangles so i'm about to eat this and then just watch Grey's anatomy honestly i'm just so irritated and blown that i'm not gonna do anything else for the night literally like my whole mood is just blown but it's gonna be okay i just need a second to regroup and recoup myself probably after i eat i'll be fine because i was already having like getting an attitude because i was hungry um but yeah i just wanted to end the video off here before i go because i know i'm not gonna end it off later so thank you guys so much for watching and spending this week in my life with me i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give the video a big thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell so that you never miss the time that i upload i'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers and it will mean a lot if you subscribe my social medias are always linked down below if you want to see more of me because that's where i'm at when i'm not on here i love you guys so much sorry that i had to cut the video short but i will see you very soon in a brand new upload